Hi guys, welcome to Arch Labs Yoda. I just saw an article and uh, it's about Etcher. And we have also an article about Minstick, which, which I've been using for over 60 distros, so I know that's working. But I wanted to make a quick tutorial about Etcher and include it into my article, Eric Dubois, how to burn an ISO to a USB. Um, but first off, let's have some fun. I see I have a new wallpaper came, that came in. And, um, oh yeah, let's activate my screen key so you see whatever screen, whatever uh, keyboard shortcut I use. Um, so this little program up here is going to show and all the settings are just fine. When I press Ctrl T, voila, there it is. That's screen key. So that's the system we're on. Fine. Let's quickly change this a little bit more down so we teach you as well something else. You go to the con key, the running con keys, any text, any font. Let's move it to the other screen. And we go to minimum height and so on. Uh, here we have cap X. Um, let's take, I don't know, cap X, let's see, 50 or something like that and see what happens. And save, did I save? Yeah, control S. Let's let's keep it to the other side of the screen. It's easier for me to see what happens. Voila, I wanted to have it a little bit more down. What did I change? I changed here the Y setting, cap Y 50, and 50 looks better for me. So now we have this Arch Labs Yoda underneath our swimmer and our shoals here. So the tutorial is about Etcher. Okay, control all team. Is Etcher what is Etcher? Well, actually, it's quite easy to install it. That's that. It's installed almost. I have to figure out the number, and it's number one. So if I press one, that's okay. It's it's started already. Control spacebar, another menu. I hope I have installed it. I've made another article about GNOME software. So let's have a look if GNOME software program includes Azure. I don't know. I'm gonna figure that out together. If it installs, if it runs, maybe I've typed something wrong. Ah, there it is. Something happens anyway. There it is. So we're gonna find here. Does they know? Do they know the name Etcher? And there you have it. So Etcher is a newer program, so it doesn't know it yet, and it will be included later. So number one is the one we need. We're gonna install it. Do we want to edit all these things? Maybe it's a good thing to talk about it as well. So what is this? This is a package build. I've had to make a lot of, a lot, 11 package builds for um, and the release of uh, Yoda 4.1. Meaning this is the information that's coming from the AOR. It's uh, the package build and it's going to build the package according to this thing. And it has it needs all this information, and sometimes there's a typo or there's a wrong URL. So things you can fix, and other things you can't fix. So you can edit it, save it, or change it, and save it. This time I'm not going to save anything. So Control X is down here. Control X is going to skip any changes. I'm not saving it. It didn't change anything, so it don't it doesn't ask. Do you want to save it? And we're off installing everything, so he's going to get it from somewhere. This is the zip file, it's gonna extract the zip file, it's gonna build it, it's gonna package it, checking issues, creating the package, and at some point in time, he's gonna ask, Do you want to install it? Yes. Another password question Do you want to install? Yes. And there you are, Etcher is installed. How do we get it? Well, I've made an article up on Eric Dubois about the six ways. There are six ways to get to the program. At this point in time, I have the OB menu generator, which is also explained there. So not the standard menu, but a generator, meaning if you generate a pipe menu, anything new, Etcher, should be in here. The question is only where. I had, I'm in luck, so accessories is where I would normally look for it, and it's here. Okay, fine. 
So let's start Etcher and do our thing. Also quite easy to do. You select an image and I have it in downloads, nothing. I have it in documents, something. 4.1, let's open it. And then we need a USB. He knows my USB, so he finds already the USB that's in there. So that's okay, it didn't have, I, I just had to plug it in and he finds it, great. And then flash it. Again, a password, otherwise he cannot run or burn the thing. It's gonna take us about two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds. And this ISO will be burned to the USB. And that's it. Nothing more to be explained. Enjoy Arch Labs, Labs and enjoy Etcher.